Now, while there's a drama in KL, the state election campaign in Sabah, as we mentioned, is entering its final days. It's expected to be a two-horse race between the incumbent Warisan Plus Alliance and the federal-backed Gabungan Rakyat Sabah. But lurking in the shadows are smaller political parties and a number of independent candidates who could be game changers. They may even end up being kingmakers if no party has a clear majority. Afifa Arifin explains. She is a veteran local politician who served two terms as an assemblyman. Former deputy leader of the Sabah Progressive Party, Melanie Chia, decided to run on her own ticket this time round. She wants to fully focus on the needs of her constituents without wasting time on party politicking. People are confused. People are confused because of the political instability that were presented by the, by the confrontational politics that we have at the moment. And we have a lot of friends who say they don't want to come out and vote. She claims many Sabahans feel disappointed by the political drama that has distracted the campaigning from the electorate's real concerns, such as a battered economy, the need for more infrastructure and development, as well as greater autonomy for this East Malaysian state. Observers say this is the edge that local smaller parties like Parti Cinta Sabah have over parties tied to the federal coalitions. Led by former Foreign Minister and Barisan National Heavyweight Anifa Aman, PCS promises to be a moderate party that can fight for Sabah's rights in practical ways. People are quite curious about PCS. Um, they are quite curious about PCS and then PCS is, a, is, is very, very pro-Sabah. And this is what makes PC, PCS um, different from the other parties. Not only they are pro-Sabah, but uh, they say they want to form a, a government, a government that is uh, controlled by a Sabah-based uh, party. And I think that is quite sellable among, among some people. In the context of Sabah's state election, observers say the foray of former big-timers or independent candidates aren't expected to cause any major surprises. That's because they lack the machinery and resources that the political giants have. But they could split up votes or even become kingmakers in the event of a hung parliament. It doesn't mean that they, they need to big win. Just, uh, for example, two, three seats and they can be the kingmaker. So I can say that though they, they don't have significant impact on, on the election, but at the end of the day, they will decide who from the government. A total of 447 candidates will be vying for 73 state seats, 13 more than the previous election. Some 1.2 million voters will head to the polls this Saturday in an election that could set the stage for the country's political future, with Prime Minister Mohidin Yassin vowing to a national ballot if Prikata Nasional and its allies win in Sabah. But a fresh mandate doesn't guarantee stability, say observers, as Sabah's political fate it could be then again held hostage to its tata, or party-hopping culture, that stalked the formation and downfall of its last government. Afifa Arifin, CNA, in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah.